Good morning, Grace Church. Please stand. service this morning, and uh, it is also the fourth Sunday of the Advent season, 
And uh, so we always like to take the time to, to remember that. And this particular, the fourth Sunday represents love. And so I'd like to read a passage from Romans that would uh, really pick up on this theme. And as we remember the first coming of Christ, all that that meant and what that would entail, I think Romans 5 uh, picks that up and uh, is, a, is a great passage for this, this morning. Romans 5, 6, for while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since therefore we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. More than that, we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. And Christ's first coming certainly uh, was joyous. It's a joyous occasion, but as we remember, it also would involve his death on our behalf. And so uh, it is always, as we think through that, the cost of Christ's coming, uh, it is something that we do rejoice, and yet we remember, and I hope it will spur us on to greater love for our Lord and Savior this morning. And uh, as we even consider this Christmas season, uh, that we would remember all of these things. Well, let me take this time as we begin to welcome each of you, and especially those of you who are visiting with us for the first time. If you are visiting, please know it is a joy and a privilege for us to have you here and we do have some information for you on the back table of the sanctuary. And if you, before you exit this morning, if you would pick that up, uh, it's a visitor packet, and you can uh, take that home with you. But before you do, if you would jot down uh, your name on the visitor form that's in there and put that in our offering box, which is on a back sanctuary wall, and we'd be very grateful. And we do hope to get to know you following this service here this morning. <clears throat> Although we will not mention everything in the bulletin, I will mention a few things. So uh, if you would take your bulletins out. And uh, first off, Rob has asked me uh, to mention that there are signups now in the foyer for the chili cook-off and the talent, no talent contest. And that's really sponsored by the youth, but it's for the whole church. We have a, just a great time here uh, on um, the 6th of January. And so the information is in the bulletin. If you'd like to know more about that, please contact the church office uh, either this week or, or the following week, and uh, Kim will let you know a little more about that, or you can get a hold of Rob as well. And then also, uh, we have other events coming up in January. Just be mindful of that. Uh, we have our men's retreat uh, conference. We have uh, several other things that are coming up. So do be aware of those things uh, and that you are uh, mindful of those things coming up. And then let me just mention, there are a couple of boxes in your bulletin to thank you once again. We've sent out an email, and I think we've th thanked you all publicly uh, already. Uh, but let me just take the time again to thank you for not only the benevolence offering and which uh, this congregation gave for that, but also for uh, the gift that you gave the staff. It's hard to put again into a short little paragraph to communicate our thanks for that. But please know, uh, it is certainly just a blessing for each of our families, and we're very grateful. And we hope that we can show our thanks really by just our increased effectiveness in serving you again this coming year. And that's really what we're going to pour our hearts into. And uh, we're looking forward to doing just that. So please do know we are very grateful not only for the benevolence offering, but also for the gift given, or the Christmas gift for the staff. Well, let's stand as we continue singing. Yeah. 
this one uh, last week, and it was fairly new to some of you. Uh, so we thought that we would do it again. Start to a place unexpected Would you believe After all we've projected A child in a manger Lowly and small The weakest of all Unlikeliest hero Wrapped in his mother's shawl Just a child Is this who we've waited for? Step down from their thrones How many lords have a bed in their homes How many greats have become the least for me And how many gods have poured out their hearts To redeem a world that was torn all apart And how many fathers gave up their sons for me down from his throne only one lord did abandon his home the greatest one became the least for me and only one god poured out his heart to redeem a world that was torn all apart and only one father gave up his son for me Christmas songs, and specifically the old Christmas carols. And uh, given uh, the specific time of today, that it's Christmas Eve, uh, we thought we would do something a little special. This is something that uh, we have done for the youth during our Christmas party, and it's a medley of many of the old Christmas carols. Uh, and I wanted to give a little bit of background for why it is structured the way that it is. Uh, Jojo? Uh, while you're back there, while I'm going through it, if you could uh, go down the slides as we go through each section. So first we start with O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. 
with Israel longing for the coming of a savior. And where is that savior going to be born? Well, he's going to be born in the little town of Bethlehem. And in the little town of Bethlehem, when he's born, we're going to sing, Noel, Noel, born is the king of Israel. Specifically, in Bethlehem, he's born away in a manger. Now, why does he lie in such mean a state where ox and lamb are feeding? Well, it's because of the cross. Nail, spear shall pierce him through the cross he bore for me for you. Then we take a pause, we step back, and, we're, and we sing to one another, saying, O ye beneath life's crushing load, whose forms are bending low, O rest beside the weary road, and hear the angels sing. Angels we have heard on high, a verse from Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And then we come to the shepherds. The shepherds heard all of that, and, well, they're going to go tell it on the mountain. And specifically, they're going to say that Jesus Christ is born, but they're also going to say that Christ is the Lord. Oh, praise his name forever, his power and glory forevermore proclaim. Then we take a step back again, we look to one another, and we say, Now to the Lord sing praises, all of you within this place. With true love and brotherhood, each other now embrace this holy tide of Christmas that all others doth thee face. O oh, tidings of comfort and joy to the world. Shall be. 
Repeat the sounding joy, repeat.